Hi everyone, I'm Margot Dwaihi, a writer, editor, and educator. And I'm grateful to share my poem, Maidservant. This is a persona poem that was written after I saw Artemisia Gentileschi's remarkable painting, Judith Slaying Holofernes. Many artists have created ekphrastic art and conversations with this painting. I was interested in imagining the inner life of the maidservant who is usually nameless. Of course, this is a feminist icon who has painted this. Uh, it's a moment of reclamation of power. And in my creative practice, I'm interested in those and narrative strategies for that type of reclamation, as well as investigating queerness, uh, queer phenomenology, and the ways that women inhabit spaces of criminality to find their agency. And I loved the idea of these two women working together, these two dangerous women working together, one um, doing so to save her people, save her nation from an invading army. And the other, we don't really know, perhaps loyalty or fealty, perhaps love. So I imagined all of that in this persona poem, Maidservant, which is in the book, Girls Like You, published by Clemson University Press. Maidservant. I'd do anything, anything she asked. I hoped she'd want to walk the olive grove with hues so green, the bees were confused. But as she crept into my tent, she wept. She had a plan. We must slay Holofernes. We, she said. She would trick him with wine and perfume. I ticked down days with cuts in her secret belt. I, as I dressed her, I sliced lines into thin leather. We learned from the butcher how to hold the ear, tilt the head, arc the blade. We choreographed Judith underneath me, her will making me stronger, harder, she said, harder. I practiced holding her down the way I would restrain him. Sweat burned my chin. His last night, he was drunk and quiet, hardening like lava on cold earth. Velvet drapes let in one rod of light. We worked fast, two fires close enough to bleed into one. His skin tore easily as he tangled his sheets. I wouldn't say I had doubts. I didn't, but as the life in his eyes reversed, a sudden wind choked our candle. She followed a star and I followed her, steady as a vow. No light save for above, one volt between planets that will never touch. She was named queen, but sits alone in her tent. We speak no longer of velvet, the enemy's jaw. How I wish I could be as pure as darkness, taking whatever it wants.